The bouncer, Spring Man. This passionate fighter's trademark is his bouncing hairstyle. While his hair may look like it's fake, his passion for arms is definitely real. His dash, the shockwave, that he can unleash once charged, and the indomitable spirit he shows under pressure make him extremely popular with kids. Here are his signature arms. The toaster can be charged to unleash a flaming punch. The boomerang flies in a curve through the air and blows enemies away after charging. And the tri-bolt shoots three bolts horizontally. Try attacking from the front with a tri-bolt, then from the side with a boomerang. How's that strike you? The scrapyard scrapper, Mechanica. A fighter in the arms league without stretchy arms? She must be a genius, and she's out to prove it by joining the ranks of the arms fighters she admires so much. Her handmade fighting suit is equipped with a hovering function, a perfect fit for a girl who dreamed her way to the top. Just look at her. Who wouldn't want to cheer for this girl? Here are her signature arms. The revolver shoots electrified bullets. The whammer may look cute, but it hits hard. And the homie is a dangerous arm that chases after opponents. Stop your rival with a stunning revolver and a whammer with the shock attribute for non-stop attacks. It's scary effective. The student of stealth, Ninjara. This ninja in training, currently attending Ninja College, is competing as his senior project. Wait, aren't ninjas supposed to be hidden? You'd think competing in a worldwide tournament would kind of go against that, but uh, doesn't seem to phase him. His opponents, on the other hand, well, he totally overwhelms them with his nimble movements and ancient ninjutsu. He can disappear, even in midair or when guarding. Here are his signature arms. The Shock Ram can go around opponents and attack them from the side. The buff pops up after a charge and curves pretty well. And the Tri-Blast requires a delicate touch. Once charged, it blows stuff up. While blocking attacks from the side with a Shock Ram, try blowing up your opponent with the Tri-Blast. The Grim Creeper, Master Mummy. This poor fellow woke up at the mausoleum with a goal worth fighting for, locating his long-lost family. His rock-hard bond won't move a muscle when hit by an average attack, and his sneaky bandages restore health while guarding. Bet on this guy wrapping up a win. Here are his signature arms. The Megaton is big, heavy, and slow. And it's even bigger when charged. The Retorture is a fire cannon that shoots three bullets at a time. And the Phoenix is a reliable firebird with a high arcing trajectory. Lure him into a counterattack with the Retorture, then hit him hard with a Megaton. Now that's a sweet strategy. A new challenger just signed up for the Grand Prix. The Speed Demon, Kid Cobra. This charismatic snake boarder is joining the battle. His goal? Increasing viewership of his radical live streams. And what better way is there to increase views than to enter the Grand Prix of arms? And I mean big ol' arms like a boa constrictor. His strong body has been trained for snake boarding, letting him slither like a snake on the ground as he pounces on opponents with charged up consecutive dashes. Here are his signature arms. The Slamamander is a whip-like punch infused with wind power. The Hydra shoots three vertically aligned bullets, perfect for cornering fighters. And the Cooler Egg is one ice-cold attack with a wide arc. Swing sideways with a Slamamander, watch as the opponent jumps, then take him down with the vertical slice of a Hydra. The Eris Ribbon Girl. The Singing Arm Spider is joining the Grand Prix with her brand new song. She's walking on air with her next level jumping skills. He 
even the laws of physics bow down to her unbeatable girl power. But below that bubbly exterior is a confident fighter who can unleash a flurry of lightning fast punches. You think she'd sign my autograph book? Here are her signature arms. Charge up a Sparky to deliver a punch that stuns opponents. The popper is all speed all the time. And the Slapamander doles out punishment with a red hot whip crack. Stun the opponent with a Sparky's charge, then quickly follow up with a Slapamander. Just watch for the openings and fight, fight, fight. The Ramen Bomber, Min Min. The poster girl for her family's famous ramen shop is joining the Grand Prix. A certified martial arts master, she can knock down opponents' punches with her spin kick. After charging up and performing a throw, her dragon arm would overwhelm anyone. With her tough looks and fancy footwork, she's got me dying for some noodle arms of my own. Oh, ramen gods, why must you forsake me? <clears throat> Here are her signature arms. The dragon roasts opponents with a blazing hot laser. The megawatt is big, heavy, and tingly? Why not? And the ram ram makes a big, fiery arch. The dragon shoots kind of slowly, so it's a good idea to cover each gap with a huge smack of a ram ram on your dragon arm. The man of mystery, Helix. Arms Laboratories accidentally engineered this strange life form while researching arms day and night. Unlike the other fighters, this guy's whole body is stretching. His unstable genetic makeup lets him move in many unpredictable ways. But watch out, get distracted by his gelatinousness and you'll get served. Here are his signature arms. The mysteriously bouncy floor splashes goo to block the opponent's view. The ice dragon is pretty self-explanatory and even more effective. And the shield-shaped guardian proves that defense may really be the best offense. Shield with a guardian, then toss a blorb over the top. It's the best way to land an unexpected hit. Now I have the utter joy of introducing a two-in-one tag team, the Clockwork Cops, Bite and Bark. Patrol robot Bite and his robotic canine partner Bark fight together as a pair. Why robots, you ask? Are pairs even allowed? Why am I asking questions I can't answer? All I know is that Bark does what he wants, distracting opponents and even filling in as Bite's footstool if need be. He's one devoted Robodog. When their rush attack is activated, they combine forces for a combo attack. And my bike. Here are their signature arms. The Seeky fires shocking heat-seeking missiles. The Cracker surrounds enemies in fire. And the Bub pops off after a charge, heading straight for the opponent. Try jumping way up high with Bark, then cornering the opponent with a Cracker and Seeky from a distance. The Silver Screen Queen, Twin Tail. An A-list movie star is joining the Arms League. Her signature curls are long enough to be weaponized. After charging, she can utilize her celebrity status to render fighters utterly starstruck, slowing down their punches in midair. She truly believes she's a haircut above the rest, and she's ready to walk the red carpet straight to victory. Here are her signature arms. The Chilla will freeze your rivals to the bone. The Parasol blocks incoming attacks in style. And the Thunderbird may look cute, but it's frighteningly effective. Faint with a Thunderbird, then block incoming counterattacks with a Parasol. It's an elegant combo that really suits her. All 10 of these fighters are gearing up to win the Grand Prix. With these 10 fighters and dozens of arms to mix and match, there are literally thousands of unique arm and fighter combinations. Each one offers different strengths and weaknesses, so the variety of play styles and strategies is oh, off what? the charts.